I think success is, in this, especially in this industry, I mean, it's going to be a mixture of a lot of different things. Ben Rennick was one of the country's preeminent snake breeders. I'm really meticulous about what I pair up. He bred thousands of snakes, everything from baby snakes. This is a 2013 cinnamon kingspin. To monsters like this one. This girl, very tame. Rennick appeared at reptile shows selling his snakes to enthusiasts all over the country. That ended in June of 2017 when he was found dead at his breeding facility. We thought that it was a snake. Bobette Turner has known Ben Rennick since he was a child. They had these big anacondas in there. We thought maybe one of them had gotten out because he never handled them without his other, another person with them because they're so big. I knew something was wrong. I didn't know what. And when I got outside, I couldn't find Ben. Sam Rennick is Ben's brother. He got the panicked call that night from Ben's wife, Lynn Lee. I thought he'd been attacked by steak um, because his, his skull was crushed. Um, but he was standing exactly where he always stood, right there in the facility. So I didn't know what I was looking at. And it wasn't until well after the police arrived and that I was told that he was actually murdered by a by a gun, by a weapon, and I, I didn't I found that very hard to believe. I couldn't wrap my mind around it. Nobody would ever want to hurt Ben. Ben was just twenty nine years old. He was well liked even by his competitors in the reptile world. In fact, he was so well respected those in the snake breeding community held an online snake auction. Sold raising nearly forty thousand dollars for his family after they learned of the tragedy. According to police, Ben was the victim of multiple gunshot wounds, with one being a contact wound to the head. Nothing was stolen, and based on where his body was found, investigators seemed to be convinced of one thing, that the killer was known to Rennick. But Ben's murder went unsolved for more than two years, until this January, a break. Identified only as BB in the police report, he broke the case wide open with information leading to the arrest of Ben's wife, Lynn Lee Rennick, and her ex-boyfriend, Michael Humphrey. The two are charged with first-degree murder in the death of Ben Rennick. I couldn't believe it. It wasn't, it never, it never really settled in until she was actually arrested. And then it was just like, oh my God, it's true. The couple seemed happy, according to Turner. They had a storybook wedding and had only been married for three years when Ben was murdered. There was never any indication of trouble in their relationship. He always made sure she had date night. Thursday was date night. That was that very night that that happened. It was supposed to be a date night. It may not have been apparent to those close to Ben, but the marriage was in trouble. The spa that Lynn Lee owned and operated was in financial peril, and even more troubling, Lynn Lee was cheating on Ben. According to the probable cause affidavit, B.B. told police he was having an affair with Lynn Lee while she was married to Ben. They continued to see each other after Ben died, even fathering a child with her. According to B.B., Lynn Lee told him she feared Ben would divorce her over the money problems with the spa, so... With the help of ex-boyfriend Michael Humphrey, she planned to shoot Ben after a previous poisoning attempt failed to kill him. B.B. told police that Lynn Lee and Humphrey went to the snake farm. Lynn Lee told Ben that Humphrey was an old friend who wanted to see the snakes. After a tour, they returned to the car to retrieve a gun. B.B. told police Lynn Lee walked in with the gun and shot Ben multiple times. Lynn Lee and Humphrey then returned to Lynn Lee's spa business where Lynn Lee took off her clothes and took a shower, giving the clothes to Humphrey to dispose of with the gun and shell casings. It was a huge relief. We, we were happy to finally get some answers. However, of course, they were ugly, you know, hearing that she, that she attempted to poison him. All of that was new news to us. Finding out that she was having an affair was something we were completely taken. We were shocked. We couldn't have imagined that. That's not the Lindley we knew. Knowing who allegedly killed Ben has helped answer the question that has haunted Ben's family and friends for months. Why? I think it was for the money. 
she knew that he had a million dollar life insurance policy and plus his trust fund. I think that I really think it was all about money. Unbelievable. Ted Rollins joins us now. Ted, uh, we're tracking this trial here at Court TV. What, what's the latest? Where are we in, in, along in all that? Well, first off, uh, Lydia Lee Rennick and Michael Humphrey uh, both pled not guilty. They say they didn't do it, that they are innocent. Uh, Lynn Lee has a preliminary hearing on Monday. Humphrey is scheduled to go to trial in August. And as you say, Vinny, this is one that we will be watching. Absolutely. I know later in the program, uh, we'll take a look more in depth of your interview of the brothers. So we've got that coming up as well. Ted Rollins, thanks so much.